Morning, everyone. Coffee, figs, and a quick update um, building a greenhouse. It is the Harbor Freight 10 by 12 by 10 greenhouse. And right now the foundation is out. It is level and I am slowly erecting everything up. Um, the idea is you walk across the orchard across here where more trees will be going in <clears throat> and the front doors will be here so you can see it's a work in progress but follow along and you can see my updates but this will allow me to scale my fig propagation um, also a big win got my small nursery license to officially ship trees out of the state with my soil composition. Um, as for the trees, quick orchard update. Start over here. JP Park is done for the season. It's just staying content. Paradiso. If we if we wrote if we like loop back to May when I put out my first video, it was a stump, and here we are, growing like crazy. I think these bases have enough soil that they'll have their own roots, so I'll be putting out a lot of uh, of Paradiso gene figs. It's an awesome Adriatic fig. It really is. Um, <clears throat> if you go on my Instagram, Bill's Figs you'll see its brabas are full of honey. It's just, it's a nice dark main crop. Um, it's a fantastic fig. Um, has that nice strawberry flavor with that sweetness. And um, it does split, but it's worth it for me to have it in the ground um, as you get a lot of figs off of it. Um, if we look over here, Figo Preto has been slowly ripening figs. I got one that just fell off the tree in its organza bag. Let's put the coffee down real quick. Salchay didn't do this well. I think I stressed it by trying to prune it upwards, um, but it needs a big growing year. So I might take it down to the ground to do what I did with the Paradiso. I'll go back here. Figo Pareto, let's take a look. Got lots of figs. Again, it's my workhorse. Um, she's great. Um, it did split. Let me take a look. That's what it's about. Yep, every time. Just when you think, hey, it actually does really well in the rain, even if it splits a little. Put an organza bag on it, keep it safe, and she will deliver. So, they're slowly starting to ripen. Here's another one. And we have a lot to work through over the next month. Again, this tree's about five feet tall at its highest point right here. And it likes to grow in this fashion. There's another one starting to ripen down there. Lots of berry tones. It's jammy. Some seeds in there. The skin tastes great. Figo Preto. Enjoy, guys. Moving over to Smith. Really not much of a year. I'm doing an air layer here. I'm going to post a video about these. These We'll see how they do over the next six weeks. Um, but it still wants to put out fruit. You know, we have a chance. I don't think it'll make it. But we do have opportunities um, to ripen figs into November here. And uh, 
in coastal, South Coastal North Carolina. So, um, Bourgeois Noir had its first ripen. It was big, um, but it's going to start beginning to ripen all of these as well. Um, also synonymous with Violet de Soleil. Um, and then Borges Oak Grease, aptly next to each other. We have some ripe figs in here too. So we have a nice big one there. And if you really let them ripen, just open this up. They are good. They have a nice little peppery flavor, but they're almost like a, a grape flavor. But deep red interior. Mm. Less berry, more honey. But sweet as can be. Borges Oak Grease. Mmm. Figs and coffee, guys. Figs and coffee. Mmm. The grapes coming through a lot. With a little hint of pepper in the skin. Um. Oh, gosh. I'm also making air layer here. for some others to ripen. Peter's Honey gave me about, I don't know, 60 figs this year. It's done for the season. Same with Stella. Stella's, what happens in North Carolina, they almost go dormant after they produce. And then you'll have all these warm days and they'll kind of wake up again. And then, then they'll finally go to sleep after our first frost, end of November. Um, but Stella did great. It gave us about, I don't know, 10, 15 figs large figs as it does Italian honey it doesn't like it here um, someone said to put a, a Ron de Bordeaux in this spot and uh, I think I'm gonna go with it because it's just a shaded area and um, my other workhorse uh, Teramo and Stella are okay with the shaded area so I will find something that likes I might move that over same with white Genoa wasn't very prolific this year, but it makes a nice tasty fig. So they're starting to lose the leaves, go dormant. Genovese Nero AF. Another awesome, awesome variety. You can see here. Whoop, let's just pop her off. Really sweet. Nice berry tones. Mmm. It's a good fig, guys. Jammy, jammy, jammy. More berry tones that you would see, like, in the Madeira. Just like that. Throughout the tree. Mmm. Skin's great. This was one of my prized figs this year. Got about 15, 20 figs, and they all, all 20 of them probably ripened at the same time. Um, but they take, they taste like um, a Figo Preto or a Madeira, but they take longer to ripen, and their skin is a little juicier rather than jammier. I would say those are the, but the, the flavor profile is the same. But if you have a different consistency, it could alter that flavor a little bit. But um, definitely gonna make some air layers of those. Mmm. And just, Suck the pulp right out of it. I'm gonna eat the skin with it. Unbelievable fig, guys. Genovese Nero AF. Um, this is my Cold Dom Noir. Didn't really fruit for me this year. I think it's in a growing phase. It's got a nice shape to it. I think it's gonna grow nicely, especially with the um, heat support from the greenhouse and the back wall there. And uh, same with Cold Dom Noir, uh, Gris, uh, Cold Dom Blanc. Um, they'll have figs, and we could actually get those ripen for us in November here. We still have another month or two of warm temperatures, at least. And um, my Col de Dom grease took off 
on its newer growth. So I'm gonna train this, this piece upwards and um, we'll split that off with its root system this winter. And I'm making the air layer of that. So another one to propagate, that's coldedom grease. So I got my three coldedoms I might add to it. And then over here, we got our salche. Usually it's a winner for me this year. I didn't want to grow that well because I've been messing with it too much. And then the bench, I'm going to have add two more trees. Get my bocce balls because of the court here. And uh, to even it out here. Maybe the Italian honey will go over here in this well lit spot. But yeah, September update. My figs and coffee. Dang, that was a great morning. Sometimes all you need is three, four figs and you're set. Cheers, guys. Bam. Happy figging.